Hello CAT aspirants, I hope your preparation is going fine. If you have any query related to your CAT preparation, you can drop it in the comment section. So today I am here with another video on selection criteria of top B schools. Today I am talking about I am Lucknow, already I have covered I am Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Kolkata along with FMS Delhi. If you didn't watch those videos, you must check out. Uh, if you are done, you must be knowing that the selection process is divided into three stages. The very first one is preliminary screening. Right. Second one is screening for wet NPI and then final selection. So we'll be exploring each and everything about I am Lucknow in detail today. So watch this video till the end for the maximum information. As I discussed, the selection process is divided into three stages. The very first one is preliminary screening. So the criteria involves your overall CAT score as well as your sectional CAT score, right? VRC, DLR and QA. So if you clear this criteria, if you meet this criteria, then you Proceed for this one, otherwise you are out of the process from here itself, right? Now, screening for wet and PI, this involves again CAT score, 12 score, graduation score, work experience, academic diversity as well as gender diversity. These criteria are having certain weightages, so we'll be talking about that also. Final selection involves again CAT, CAT score, 12 score, graduation score, work experience, diversity both academic as well as gender. Two elements are adding, one is wet score, the other one is PI score, right? So this is how the selection process is designed. So it's a three stage selection process. Now we'll be talking about each and every stage in detail. So this is the very first stage, which is preliminary screening. So this is for 24, 26 batch. That means for the students who have appeared in CAT 2023, these are the minimum cutoffs, percentile requirements for the first shortlist. That means we are not saying that at this percentile, you'll be getting call from IIM Lucknow. There are other parameters as well. Already we have seen that, right? So there is second stage also. But if you're not meeting this criteria, then we can say that straight away you are out of the process, right? So you can have a screenshot with you for this. So based upon your category, you can check uh, uh, what is the sectional cutoff as well as the overall cutoff for your category. So we assume here that you are done with preliminary screening, you have cleared that and now you are proceeding for screening for wet NPI. So if I talk about that, the selection criteria involves these parameters along with their weightages. So clearly we can see that the maximum weightage is dedicated to CAT score, right? So if I talk about GEM candidates, general, engineer and male, guys, you are lacking this. You're not having gender diversity. You're not having academic diversity. And if you're not having work experience also, that means guys, you are losing 20 out of 100 straight away. Now, 12th, already you are done. So you cannot change it, right? I assume that you are having maximum, which is 10. Graduation, probably you're done. Maybe you're doing, still doing, right? And let's assume that you are having maximum in that also. But still you are competing with the candidates who are having these three criteria, right? So you have to really work hard on this. So you must aim for at least 99.6 plus percentile to get a PI call from I am Lucknow, right? So let's have a look at class 12 score, how we are getting our score here, right? So you have to take maximum out of these two values. This P is your percentile score in 12th in your board, depending upon the applicant pool in your board exam, right? That particular year, right? So this is P. So you have to take the maximum value out of P and 80. So let's say if you're scoring 100, right? Let's say your percentile was 100 in your board exam. That means the maximum value out of the two will be 100. 100 minus 80 is 20. 20 upon 20 is 1 into 10. So when you are scoring 100 percentile in your board exam, then you are getting the maximum score in 12th. Out of the 10 points, the maximum points, which is 10, you'll be getting only when your percentile is 100 in your board exam, right? Is it clear? So now when it is 80, when your percentile is 80, that means the maximum value out of the two will be 80. 80 minus 80 is zero. That means the points, the weightage, or we can say the score corresponding to 12th will be zero. That means if your percentile score in 12th is less than 80, then you're getting zero marks for 12th out of 10 points, right? So we have seen for graduation also, we have maximum 10 points, how we are getting our points, right? So for that, uh, I am Lucknow divided the academic disciplines into five categories. One is engineering, the other one is science, then commerce, you have arts and then others. So these are the five categories. So for all these categories, they are calculating the mean score as well as standard deviation for the various academic disciplines, right? So the out of the five disciplines, they are calculating the standard deviation and mean for each and every discipline, right? Now, 
whatever your graduation percentage score is, right? So you are putting it here and based upon the applicant's pool, they are getting the mean value as well as standard deviation value. They are putting it in here and they are calculating your graduation marks out of 10. So when this entire thing will become 3, this will cancel out, this will be 50, 50 and 50 will be 100, this will cancel and then you will be getting 10 points, right? So this is how they are calculating. So to come to this, we must be having the value of mean and standard deviation. So we are not having that data. So we cannot, uh, I cannot exactly tell you how, you know, what will be your value based upon your score, right? But you must understand this is the result that they are using to come to your graduation score. So let's see how I am Lucknow awards you with work experience score. So th there's this result that they are using. So you have to pick up the minimum value out of this and 10. So let's find out for maximum 10 points, right? What can be the number of months of work X I must be having? So X is nothing but number of uh, months of work X that you are having, right? So X minus six into 0.5, this should be equals to 10, right? So this is 20, X is equals to 26. So when you are having 26 or greater than 26 months of work X, then you'll be having the maximum points, which is 10. If you're having six or less than six months of work X, that means your score is zero, right? You're not having any point for work X. Okay, so you have cleared your preliminary screening. You have cleared your screening for VET and PI. You have appeared for VET and PI. After VET and PI, you are having your VET and PI scores as well. Now, for final selection, this is the selection criteria. So these are all the parameters that are taken into consideration along with their weightages. So now we can see that the maximum weightage is of PI score. That means you have to kill it. And minimum passing marks for PI is 12 out of 40. If your score is not even 12, that means you are out of the process again, right? So this is how it is. Your CAT score weightage is 30%. Then comes uh, your VAT score weightage, which is 10 points or 10% out of 100. And for remaining these four categories, we have equal weightage, which is 5% or 5 points. So this is, this is the criteria of final selection, right? So uh, I hope uh, this entire process is clear to you till here. So this is a three stage process. We have discussed all the stages in detail. So let's sum up our discussion. Uh, we have discussed that I am Lucknow involves three stage selection process. One is your screening for preliminary screening, then comes screening for wet NPI, and then comes your final selection. We have seen the criteria involving these three stages and what are the weightages dedicated to those criteria or parameters, right? So uh, this was your I am Lucknow selection criteria video for more such informative videos you can stay connected with us you can subscribe to this channel you can like and share this video and milte in the next video keep learning keep solving keep growing bye bye and take care.